Hi guys, now in this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this negative space logo or words. And so let's jump straight into today's tutorial. Alright, so now with this document created, you just go and pick your text tool and then just type over here S. Now I am going to use a free font so that everybody can have it. Okay, so we are going to use Arial and then we are going to select black over here. Now, also want to go to view and go to new guard layout, something like this, and then let's resize it, make it quite bigger. So let's just see something like this is quite great. Okay. Now I want you to drag a line and drag it all the way to the edge and then drag another line, drag it all the way to the edge. But we want to really zoom in and then be very particular about it. Okay. So click on your move to and drag it to the edge. Make sure it's really on the edge. Drag this one also to the edge. Make sure it's really on the edge. Awesome. Control zero. Now duplicate it and then just drag it like that. Let's call it P. Okay. Drag it a little closer to it. Duplicate it. Drag it again. Let's call it A drag it quite closer to it duplicate it again let's call it C duplicate it again let's call it E I so obvious it's too big and so we'll perhaps have to you know resize it resize it a little bit more just so it fits okay now that will also mean we'll have to work on the lines that we created and so uh, pick your move tool and drag this to the edge suite and drag your move to like click your move tool and drag this one also to the edge again let's zoom in a little bit I want it right on the edge right on the edge all right so so beautiful great so this is how we have it now now i want you to click on p over here and then click over here your rectangular to and then just select something like this something like this is quite great Click here and select color black. Okay. Now drag it behind P. Awesome. Now come and click on P. Click over here on your text character and then come here and select color white. Now select both of them. And then control T. Let's see. Alright. So that is it. Now a over here let's drag a quite closer to it let's see all right so let's drag a beneath the rectangle here select this and then let's put this in the folder let's call it p okay now let's see whether we can move p here great so i think this is great so far we need to move the a a little bit inside and then let's bring C also quite closer to it. Now with C, let's click on E as well. Let's drag E quite closer to it. Drag E here. Great. Let's drag E beneath C. Okay, so now C over here. Let's go and pick, um, let's say, let's pick our brush. Let's come here. Let's pick a hard run brush. There are thousand one ways of doing it. Thousand and one ways of doing it. All right. So let's click over here. Create a new layer. Click on your brush. Hard run brush. Remember color black. And then make sure opacity is all the way to hundred percent. And then just create something like this. Sweet. Now drag it beneath it. Click on C. Come here. Click here and select color white great now put c in a, a group and call it c 
awesome let's drag it somewhere here and then let's make sure c and e are also beneath a great now let's drag the two like that in there and this is how we create this negative space we can put everything together and then bring it together like that you can also now decide to resize it if you want to awesome and perhaps you can even type here negative over here and then click here and then just type 5000 also and then let's try and keep this also in the middle here like that and ladies and gentlemen this is how you create this negative space if you love this video please don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well guys i love you all see you in the next tutorial peace